Good evening. Good evening, class. Welcome back. Good evening. Hello. How's it going? Hello. How are Hello, you today? Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, I'm pretty Hi. good. Nice to see very you. Good. Very good day. It was a very good day. Even though it was raining. No? It, was it has been raining yeah. a lot. So probably it is going to continue raining as well. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué clase vamos ya? What class is this one? Who can tell me? Six. This is class number six. six. And the topic from yesterday. ¿Cuál fue nuestro oh, tema de um, The price. Talking about price. How much it is. How much is this or how much is it? Very how much good. it is. We were talking about prices and the topic or the name of section number three is how much is it? How do we express prices in English? ¿Cómo los expresamos en inglés? Who can give me an example? Um, it is $10. Very good. It is $10. ¿Qué más? It is, uh, it is $10.50. $10.50? Uh, it is $50. Uh, 65 cent. Okay. cent cent there we go how to express prices in english that's it so this is number six Vaya. vamos a continuar <laughs> mira aquí está el tema de ahora um, it's a very similar topic what we are going to include an extra uh, or like we are going to extend a little bit more about this topic, saying prices in English. This is class number 10 and we are still covering section number three, how much is it? Same topic or similar topic, it's about saying prices. Les preguntaba, ¿cómo expresamos? How do we express prices in English? How much is it? Let's go back and make a review. I guess that 99 cents, $28, 28, 99. How do we ask about prices? How much is this? How much is this one? How much are those? How much? are those ones. In English, we have this expression, one and ones, whenever we want to be emphatic about a decision that we are making. Queremos enfatizar cuál estamos eligiendo. Which ones? The blue ones. Which ones? The gray ones. So the topic is very similar to this practice that we have yesterday. If you see, there are some useful expressions that we can include whenever we go shopping or whenever we ask for prices. Do not forget to uh, add an extra comment para que la conversación no acabe en que me dan el precio y ahí se acabó. No, let's try to add or mention an extra comment. It can be, in this case, an affirmative or a positive comment, or we can also say, you know, not a positive. Instead, we can say a negative comment about the price of things, you know, because sometimes, yeah, we really need to express those type of comments in English. How much is it? It's $1.50. Oh, that's expensive. 
Para que nuestra conversación no quede como a medias, we need to use this type of expressions. That's cheap, that's reasonable, that's okay, that's not bad, or that's expensive. So let's see, aquí vamos. Saying prices. Enfoquémonos en esto. Demonstratives and also the use of one and one. If you see, let me make it bigger. Lo voy a hacer más grande. Whenever we want to express in English that we are picking or that we are choosing between two items, we are going to use the expression one and ones. Hoy sí está más grande. Miren. Tenemos nuestras reglas o nuestros comentarios. Number one. What is this comment about? The comment says that with singular nouns, you are going to use this for a thing that is nearby and that for a thing that is not nearby. What is a synonym of nearby? A qué se refiere cuando dice nearby? Que estén cerca, no. Cerca, ¿no? es una expresión que usamos. Usamos this para un objeto en singular y por supuesto that the same for singular pero que no está cerca creo que esa regla la tenemos clara verdad the use of this and that yes está clara nuestra regla de this and that yes yes, yes. Vale. second comment what is the second comment with plural plural nouns what are we going to use this for things that are nearby and those for things that are not nearby. These, that, this, and those. Ahí están nuestras primeras dos reglas. Rule number one and rule number two. Excellent. Now let's have the third one. This is very important. Use one to replace a singular noun. And you are going to use ones to replace plural nouns. Lo que les mencionaba. Para reemplazar, replace. O para enfatizar singular and plural nouns in English. What are we going to use? Want Necesitamos utilizar want or once para reemplazar nombres, reemplazar y enfatizar, to replace. Look at the examples. I like the red hat. I like the red hat. I like the red wand. I like the green bags. I like the green ones. It's very easy to replace. Now, I have a conversation, conversation number one, and also conversation number two. If you see, we need to complete the conversation usando ambas cosas, demonstrativos y también mi expresión want and ones. En toda mi conversación van a encontrar one and ones y los demonstrative pronouns. How do I know? ¿Cómo sé cuándo voy a utilizar entonces? Want, this, and that. Para singular. Mira, singular. Eso es para singular. ¿Y cómo sé cuándo voy a utilizar this? 
those and one plural. 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 Ok, estamos claros con estas reglas. Yes. So, it depends on that, depende de eso, que yo voy a poder completar mi conversación. And also, I have some key words, palabras claves en mi conversación, que me dejan saber si estoy hablando de uno o dos. For example, look at the first example here. Bag. Is this noun in singular or expressed in plural? Singular. Ah, singular. está expresado en singular. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que tengo que ver? Ya sé que voy a utilizar this and that. La siguiente expresión. Over there. Por allá. Over there. Over there. ¿Qué es lo opuesto a decir? Here, lo opuesto a decir acá, here. So, is the expression over there expressing that the object is near or far? What is it expressing? Far. 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 Bien. Segunda clave. Entonces, ¿cuál voy a ocupar? This or that? That. Uh, that. Ok. That. That. ¿Será que podemos ir y practicar ahorita? Can we go and practice? Or do we still have eh, like some doubts or comments about this topic? Because yesterday we were practicing with this topic. ¿Será que podemos ya ir a la práctica? O seguimos con la explicación. How do you feel with this topic? More explication. You still need? Okay, don't you worry. We can have some extra exercise. This, that, this, and those. You know, let's go to the platform. There we have a very specific example. Even though, you know, I don't really like to go as of right now to go to the platform because the audio is very low. No sé si soy solo yo, pero yo escucho bien bajo el audio. I don't know why. Right? That's sí, why. Se escucha bien bajo. Mala calidad el audio. Most of the time, that's why I try not to go to the platform. But don't worry. Creo que si vamos earphones, like mine, you're going to be, you know, listening better. But here she was expressing very nice examples, you know, that are very useful. Let me see if I can find out the examples. Yes. I can stand just at the end. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use the most. Let me see. Hello. I can stand. Is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Okay, this is from yesterday's 15. class. We're talking about demonstrative pronouns. Not anymore. As you know, Aquí there empezamos. are four. Here we this, go. these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or once very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. Okay, these are the For ones. example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or once always go at the end of the question and answers. And they... Okay, these are the examples that I need you to remind. Remember, I really like this type of explanation because it's very specific. When are we going to use one and once? When choosing or having more than one option. And we are going to use one and once to replace the subject or the noun in the sentence. Is that your car? 
¿Cuál es el nombre o el sujeto de mi oración? Car. Is that your car? En lugar de utilizar one, ¿cómo creen que podríamos expresar esta oración? Look. This, this or that? Is that your car? Mm -hmm. Which? Which car? Uh, which car? The which red car? car or the blue car? But you see, in this way, we are repeating the same noun three times in a single idea. That's why it's very useful to replace, in this case, the word car for the expression want. Ya vieron, lo ocupamos para reemplazar. Primera regla, para reemplazar a el nombre o al sujeto. Teacher, una dos? pregunta. Yes. El wish one sería como un phrasal verse. Eh, not really. Es como una estructura diferente. It's not like a phrasal verb. ¿Cuáles son los phrasal verbs? Can you give me an example of a phrasal verb? Es una preposición junto con un verbo, si no me recuerdo. Ah, entonces en este caso tenemos preposición, not really, which is not a preposition. This is a WH word. And one, this is not a verb. This is a noun. So, yes, in this case, ah, okay. it's not. Yeah, but, but I got it. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Vale. Número uno, les dije que nos sirve para reemplazar a nuestro nombre. In this case, the subject. Para no repetir, to keep on repeating the same noun. En number two, to pick or to choose between or among some options. The red one and the blue one. Mm -hmm. Ok. ¿Is it clear now? ¿Está claro entonces ahora? ¿Cuándo utilizamos one en once? Dos posibles respuestas. To replace the noun or to choose between or among some options. That's it. Let me see how it goes. Probemos cómo nos va con el ejercicio. Don't you worry. If you don't feel ready to answer this type of exercises, we are going to answer the exercise as a class at the end. La idea es que nos vayamos a la práctica y que no tengan miedo de responder o de equivocarse. That is the process of learning. If I'm mistaken in an exercise, then you are going to find out the correct reply. Let's go to WhatsApp. Here we go. Just give me a second. No me voy a dejar solo otra vez. I want, I promise. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> ni yo me acordaba de eso. Come on, class. I promise I won't do it. No me voy a dejar solo, teachers. You promise? I Lo suscaron, dice. I don't know why. No, yo pensé, dije, ok, hice, hice algo mal porque no hay nadie. Se la llorona, eh. <ríe> ok. Que es el cuarto de castigo, no te habían dicho. Come on, no, y lo Eddie. peor que está, estaba, quiero ver, don Carlos estaba también solo y de repente nos unieron en una sola sala. <ríe> es verdad, es que el cuarto de los castigados. Aquí vamos. Ya les envío la imagen a WhatsApp. Here we go. Let's go and work in groups, not in pairs, ok. Here we go, class. Hoy no me voy todavía hasta que veo que vean todo. Ah, ¿cómo? <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> you, class. Thank you so much for writing, for typing hello. Gracias, Aleli and Emerson. This is very useful. Gracias por ayudarme a identificar el chat, correcto. Here we go. Go, Cesar, go. <laughs> Elvis, Ana Karina, and Ana Gabriela. There we go. 
Excellent. Okay, I have Edgardo and Carlos Edens. What happened to you guys? Did you have problems? Hi, Carlos. Hi, teacher. Hi, what I'm happened? Sorry. ¿Qué pasó, Carlos? Tell me. <laughs> ¿O acaba de entrar, no? Sí, en este momento. Ah, okay. It's because we are working in groups. Yo dije, ¿será que lo regresó de la sala? Don't worry. Oh, okay. En Andrea as well. Andrea acaba de entrar o también la regresó de la sala? No, acabo de entrar. Ah, okay, no, okay. no tenía internet. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. So we are working in groups, and okay. this is the exercise. Let me show you the exercise. We are going to complete this conversation using the da, this, that, this, and those, y también la expresión one and one. Apoyémonos con los compañeros que acaban de entrar a la sala. If you have questions, please let me know. Okay. Let's complete the conversation. So let's go. I'm going to send you to different groups. Andrea, yes. go to room number three, please. Carlos. Okay. Go to room number four. Number four, okay. Thank you. Edgardo, go to room number Five. Hi, Fatima. Hello. Hi, teacher. Acaba de entrar, Fatima. O, o le tuvo problemas sí, con la no, no, Ah, okay. Es no. que me, por entrar a WhatsApp me salió, me sacó de la reunión. <laughs> okay, so let me send you. We are working in groups. Estamos trabajando en grupos. Go to room number one. Vámonos a la sala uno, please. Sí. Excellent. Uh, la otra sería, eh, siento yo que sería, oh, this store is really expensive, expensive. Expensive. Ajá, uh -huh. sería this. Oh, this. Ajá. La B anterior, ¿cuál es? That o those? Ah, esa me salté. Entonces, Perdón, no sé. sería, quiero ver. Sería dos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. En ese momento, la señal. Iris, creo que es Iris, porque está mencionando solo. Yo creo que es Arte. Al final de la B de la segunda. Ya resolvimos una y lleva otra al final. Ah, es que está muy bien chiquita la, 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 la pantalla, no lo había visto. The jeans over there sería, how much is this? Aquí sería... Are there, are are they? They? ¿Por qué? Te va todos al inicio. Ajá, sí, Teacher, es si, hablamos, si hablamos de pantalón, de unos jeans, ¿estamos hablando de plural o de singular? It is always plural. The same plural. example for glasses, shoes. Always ah, plural. Okay. Yeah. Entonces ahí sería are they, ¿verdad, chicas? Sí. Excelente. 
Entonces vamos a la otra. Which one? Estamos hablando ahí que sería once, en plural. Y seguimos wow. con... Do you meet this? O this? This. Um, this. This, plural. No, the blank one. No, aquí sería... Wow. Estamos hablando de los pantalones siempre, sería siempre Ajá, en plural. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Sí, ¿Verdad? Sí. Excelente. Let me look. Oh, it's they are. Eh, aquí sería they are. La siguiente, ¿verdad? ¿Me equivoco? ¿Qué es esto? La letra B, that's no bad. And how much is... Con la B, ayúdenme. Um, this... Hi, teacher. <laughs> ya, ya, ya me puedo les record en Charles. <laughs> ya, ya, finish. We are already finished, teacher. Questions about this exercise? No. No? Oh. Are you sure? No. Very yes. good job. How was this exercise? Easy, difficult? Mm. I think that it, it was easy. It was easy. Oh, okay. I'm really glad to hear that. Because, you know, there are some groups who are still trying to understand and to answer this type of topics. But don't you worry. Let's go back to the same or to the main room, please. Vamos a la sala principal. And then we're okay. going to wait. Wait for your classmate. Okay. 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 Excellent. Here we go. Just give me a second. Let's go back. Okay, time to come back. Here we go. Let's wait for your classmates. Did you have time to okay. finish? Yes. Did you finish? Yes. You did. Very good. ¿Qué te pasa, Lily? Mm, mira, no sé si voy a caer mal o okay. qué. Teacher, discúlpeme lo que te voy a decir, pero yo siento que a veces es incómodo eh, trabajar con, con alguien que no enciende su cámara, porque realmente es un, pienso, pues que es una falta de respeto y es una de las reglas principales que nos dicen siempre. Y me siento incómoda, pues porque no sé si realmente estoy hablando con la persona que, 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 que supuestamente es, pues, no sé. Acabamos de trabajar en un grupo en donde solamente Isabo tenía su cámara encendida y Andrea y la otra niña no, la, no las quisieron encender. Ok, Pero let, let me... Ok, voy a... Ok, Cristel, and then me. Yeah, go ahead, please. Eh, sure. Bueno, en mi caso, creo que siempre... Bueno, yo no estaba con, con, con ella. <risa> Pero en mi caso, como yo me conecto del teléfono, yes. entonces cuando entro a WhatsApp y estoy viendo la imagen, no se, no se ve la videollamada. Entonces creo que ah, eso okay. tenemos algunos problemas, no es que tengamos la cámara siempre apagada. Ajá, eso es lo que iba a aclarar, hay dos miren, puntos de vista que yo dando clases virtuales he visto, uno, cuando si sí estamos aquí en la sesión principal, ahí sí nadie está usando el dispositivo para otra cosa a menos que estemos conectados desde un celular entiendo, créanme que si estamos utilizando datos la calidad baja enormemente si tengo conectado eh, mi cámara y a la misma vez mi micrófono, por eso es entendible 
y cuando estamos trabajando en grupos, eso pasa chicos, que al tener mi dispositivo y yo estar revisando en este caso la imagen que les he enviado, se apaga la cámara automáticamente, no es en sí eh, maldad del compañero, sino que a veces pasa eso. Por eso les he dicho, traten de compartir pantalla, que uno comparta pantalla para que solo esa persona esté proyectando y los demás no tengamos la necesidad de ir y buscar el ejercicio, ¿ok? Para que no se dé este tipo de, tal vez malentendido, llamémoslo. Yo lo creería que no es falta de voluntad de los compañeros, ¿ok? Si no, se quedarían callados incluso. Pero tratamos de resolver el ejercicio entre todos. Ok, esa es la perspectiva. Yo he visito cada grupito y yo los veo trabajando. Si no, les llamaría la atención. ¿Qué pasó acá? O si están callados, les pregunto, ¿Did you finish? Y a veces me dicen, yes, we finished. Ok, so, ese es mi punto de vista, pero igual a Lely comprendemos también eh, eh, lo que usted también percibió. Pero tal vez esto nos ayuda a comprender tal vez un poquito más a los compañeros. But don't worry. Let's continue with the topic. Demonstratives one and ones. I know this can be easy for some of you or for most of you, and sometimes a little bit tricky for some of the classmates as well. But let me ask you, I'm going to ask some volunteers so you can help me out to pick the correct response to complete the conversation. Let me start with the first one that I have here, Irma. Si me ayuda Irma, with letter B. <laughs> Excuse me, how much are these Man. shoes? It's, it's... Is letter... the... mm -hmm. it's... It's 217... How do we read numbers in English? How much is it, class? <laughs> Yes, Elvis, please. They are 279. Ah. Okay, why are we using they are and not it is? Because ah. it's plural. Because we're talking in plural. Exactly. Are, are these shoes? Are. Because I'm talking about shoes. And in English, shoes, we use these type of nouns in plural, you know? Glasses, Glasses. jeans. Siempre van en plural, okay? No decimos shoe, how much is this shoe? Solo un zapato se va a llevar, no, quiero el par, shoes. <laughs> oh, this, a jean, dicen, no, que es eso, jean, no existe, jean. Or oh, el short, no, ese es, Ese es un adjetivo, pero si le agrego ese, es un nombre, shorts. Refiriéndome a la pieza de ropa, shorts. Here we go. That's why. Excuse me, how much are these shoes? They are... ¿Cómo leíamos el precio en este caso? Two? Two hundred seventy-nine dollars. Ajá, two hundred seventy-nine dollars. Let's continue. Daisy, please continue with the conversation. Um, how much is that back over there? Very good job. How much is that backpack over there? That. Daisy, pick one of your classmates. Daisy, elige el que sigue participando y así vamos a ir en cadena. Please, Daisy, mention one of your classmates' names. Um, Cesar. Cesar, continue, please. <laughs> ah, Cesar. What, what teacher? Cesar no, is not estaba, paying attention. Estaba... You are checking WhatsApp, no, right? What are you checking estaba, right now? Estaba viendo la imagen. <laughs> ah, okay. So can you continue <laughs> with the conversation? Uh, how much? Um, yes, let it be. Sería... Uh, it's only $129. Very good job. Because we're talking about a bag. It's only $129. Cesar, who is going to participate now? Um, 
Elvis. Elvis, please. Uh, are the two great ones $129 too? One or once? Once. Very good job. And are the two great ones 129 too? Excellent. Elvis, who is going to participate now? Uh, Emerson. Emerson, please. No. Que se iba copiando las respuestas. La tomas cuando y sería das. Sería no. Does are only one hundred ninety dollars. One hundred nineteen dollars. Nineteen. Recordemos, emphasis, ah, $19. $19. Because this is what $19. I hear. Esto escucha yo, $190. Very good. Yes, very good. Emerson, who is next? ¿Quién va a participar ahora? Who's next? Déjame ver. No, no. Estamos. Ana Gabriela. Ana Gabriela, please. No, 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 no. Mention another one. Another one. Okay, sería para Lisabo. No. Okay, go please. Thank you, Emma. No, no, no. Oh, this store is no. very expensive. This or that? This. Why? Uh, because it's one, one object. One object or one store. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's one it. store. One store. Very good. Isabel, who is going to continue now? Uh, Aleli. Aleli, please. Can I help you? Continue. Gracias, I can help you. Yes, please. I really like, I really like toast. Gyms over there. Continue. How much, how much are they? Very good. Those, because we are referring to jeans, and jeans is in plural. And of course, we need to ask using a plural expression. How much are they? Aleli, who is going to continue now? Oh, Daisy. Please, Daisy. Okay. Which ones do you mean this? There we go. Plural. Which ones? Do you mean this? This? Excellent. Who is going to continue now? Uh, Fatima. Great job. Fatima, please continue. No, the black ones. Very good, plural, right? No, the black ones. Fatima, who's next? Edwin Ernesto, no sé si ya participó. Edwin, please, go ahead. Edwin, I guess, okay, there he is. Continue, please. Sí, sí, sí. Solo que uh, lo veo demasiado pequeño, no lo alcanzo a leer muy bien. Uh, sería... Let me look. Um, let me look yes. on it. Uh, to refine ninety nine dollars. Okay, plural. Let me look. Oh, they are 
$35.99. Very good. Edwin, ¿quién va a participar ahora? Who's next? No, no, quiero ver, quiero ver que no está. <laughs> Sorry, Está lento esto, teacher. Lo Don't siento. worry. Elíjalo por mí, por favor. Gladys, please. I know he was going to mention Gladys. Gladys, continue. Elizabeth. Add your microphone, please. <laughs> There we go. Now we can hear you. Mm. Okay, can you write that on the chat, please? Gladys, because I don't know, maybe you're having problems with your microphone. That's not bad. And how much is this or that sweater here? Look at the expression, the final expression here. What is it indicating? Is it close or far? Close. Close. So what expression yes. do we use for close? Singular this. close. Yes? This. How much is this sweater right here? Yeah. Who can? Okay, Anna Stephanie, can you finish with the conversation, please? Okay. Um, it's only nine, 99. It's $9.99, very good job. Questions about this type of exercises or do you really know how to respond or how to complete this type of conversation? ¿Les queda claro por qué usamos singular, plural, one and ones? Yes? It's clear. Yes. It's clear. Esa es la clave de todo, identificar singular, plural. And the rest is going to be easier. Please, go ahead, Areli. Oh, teacher, no se le olvide la lista. Yes, no, I, I'm going to check it at the end of the class. Don't worry, thank you. Siempre que hice la lista, me acuerdo de Fernando. Oh, yeah. Hey, how about Fernando? He's not in the Fernando class. Fernando no vino, ¿verdad? We are going to ask in the chat. Pregunten por Fernando en el yes. chat. ¿Qué pasó? What happened yes. to you, Fernando? Yeah, que hacía falta dar Vader. Ajá. Soy tu padre, Ana. Oh. So, as the final example or exercise. La, la voz sexy para Lely. Look, what are we going to do? Mm. Now, you, come on class, stop saying those type of comments. Let's concentrate on the topic for this class. Sorry, what teacher, are you sorry. Going to do? Uh -huh. What are we going to do? We are going to work in pairs. Or I prefer you to work in groups. I need you to pick something that belongs to you. Algo que tengan a la mano. Maybe your cell phone, a backpack, a book, a lamp. I don't know what you have near or close to you. And you are going to model a conversation. One of you or a student A is going to be the sales people or sales clerk. And you are going to be answering the customer's questions. And a student B, you are going to be the customer. Remember that you can ask about the price, the color, uh, materials, or any other detail. But in a specific, I need you to practice asking for prices. La idea principal es que sepamos cómo preguntar de precios. Can I help you? Yes, I like this pen. How much is it? Which one? Utilicemos el modelo que teníamos ayer. Look, este. Let me go back. Utilicemos este modelo, okay? Singular, plural. Y utilizando useful expressions. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Elijan dos o tres objetos que tengan cerca de ustedes y vamos a imitar esta conversación. Singular, plural, and also using the expression one and ones 
and at the same time asking and giving prices. ¿Sí? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Preguntar por precios, dar precios y elegir utilizando which one, which ones. ¿Ok? Here we go. I'm going to give you just five minutes and then we can present the conversations with the class. No hay modelos a seguir, así que ustedes son libres de crear su conversación. Here we go. Let's go and work right now. Different groups. Here we go. Vamos a trabajar. Véndanle a su compañero lo que tengan más cerca. El cell phone, a book, your backpack, or any other object that you have. I'm just going to be listening to you. Here we go. Excellent. Edgardo. Why do you have Edgardo three times? Let me check. Edgardo me aparece tres veces. I don't know why. Yes, right? Hi, Edgardo. Hi class, yeah. who is going to start? Quien empieza? Who is going to start? Glenda. Very good. Uh, so Glenda is going to tell. ask. Ella va a preguntar por precios. Okay, Glenda is going to ask uh, for prices. Who is going to sell? Quien va a vender? Yo le vendo. Okay, what do you have there? It's a pen. Very good. So go ahead with the conversation. Y luego tenemos okay. a Daisy and Isabel. Here we go. Can you help you, uh, Glenda? Es que no encuentro la conversación. Usted pregunta más por el precio. Hola. Usted pregunta más por el precio. Yes, this is in general. No sigamos como un patrón de conversación. Solo veamos cómo lo hacemos. In real life. Here we go. Um, which one? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Pregunten. Uh, uh, how much this cost? It's a uh, two dollars. Mm, it's okay, not bad. Okay, <laughs> nice, nice. Ahora Isabel and Daisy. <laughs> ¿Quién vende? Mm, yeah. Uh, Daisy. Okay. okay. How much is this season? Mm, it's three dollars. Is reasonable? Hey. Okay. 
clase. Veamos si me tratan de convencer a mí. Look, I have a cell phone. Elvis. Oh. Let's make a conversation. Uh, uh, no, usted me va a vender a mí. You are going to ask for prices. Okay, hi, welcome Elvis. Can I help you? Hi, yes. Uh, how much is it the cell phone? Ah, do you know which one? The black one or no? Well, the new one or the old one? Which one? Mm, the old one. Ah, the old one. You know, this is very no, cheap. No, not much money. Ah, because you don't have much money. Don't worry. This is just ten dollars. Ten dollars and fifty cents. That's cheap. That's cheap. I give it up. Okay, there you go. You see, traten de crear más conversación. Porque si solo vamos y decimos, uh, how, oh, ¿cómo? creo que escuché, uh, which one, de una sola vez, which one, mm, no. Tratemos de interactuar, ok. <laughs> how much is this? Hello, how are you? Good morning. Which one do you like more? O como él me dijo, I don't have much money. No tengo tanto dinero. O I take it. Me lo llevo, como decimos en inglés. I'll take it. I will take it. No de agarrarle y dar, sino que me lo llevo. So, practice. Sí. Practiquemos lo, con lo otros objetos. Compro es give. Lo compro, ¿cómo se dice? Give. Give up. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I'll take give. it. Wait. Take. Ah, tengo muchos okay. en sala de espera. So, go and practice, please. Okay. Yes, continue practicing. I like the cell phone. Voy yo. Excellent. Yes, I like the cell phone. Which one? Great. Bueno, yo soy la que le estoy no. vendiendo. ¿Usted me va a vender a mí? Hola. <laughs> 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 no, no. <laughs> okay, okay. No problem. Empecemos. Go. Ya. Ya. Vale, voy. Can I help you? Yes, I like this cell phone. Hola. How much is it? Which one? Hola. The red one. Hello, tell me. It's... It's only. Bueno, yo le voy a decir el precio, ¿verdad? Me, me, me creí. Yes. Right, right. It's only, in only 200, 200. Si no se van. 29. Ok, that's great. <laughs> that's cheap. Very good job, girls. No, don't worry, you know, lo que pasa es que ellas se quedaron aquí en esta sala principal practicando porque les da problema unirse a las salas. That's why, don't worry. Sí, me, salió que me, me dejaron unieron, solo, ¿sí? me dejaron solo. Ajá. Igual a M, igual a Yo M, sola M. estaba hablando también, Ay, me contestaba. Sí, sí me pasó sí. igual, porque a mí me salió a la sala uno y me, y me sacó de una sola vez. Entró Ajá, Gladys, pero, pero luego se salió. <laughs> it's because of the internet connection most of the time that is the problem that we get because of the internet right. connection but don't you right. worry i'm going to have a single one alguien me va a tratar de vender a mí yo le voy a preguntar who's the volunteer let me see no teacher esta gente es muy carera no don't you worry i need no quiso comprar un labial Y esto queda para la esposa, puede creer. No, no, no. Ok, who is going to. Yo hice, yo hice una pregunta, no sé si estará bien. Uh -huh. is, uh, how much is this spoon? How much is this spoon? Spoon. Is this spoon? Ah, this is spoon. Yes. How much is it? Because we are talking about one. That's ok. Bien, eh, quiero comprarle a alguien. Si ¿Quién me va a vender? Elegir dos? How much eh, are these? Oh. Yo, yo, how much is this one? Vamos a emerson. This is phone. Okay. You have a cell phone. Uh, hi, good evening. You know, I need to get a cell phone. I need to get a new cell phone. 
Yes, I have two cell phones. Oh, really? So. Oh my god. Pregunta, which one? <laughs> How much? Eh, ah, no. Usted no me ha preguntado cuánto vale. Because I need you to ask me which one. Ah, okay. Okay, empezamos eh, otra vez. Hi. Okay, Hello. okay, okay. Aquí vamos. Hi. Hello. How much? You know, I need to get a new cell phone. Oh, Ardis. Uh, sería Ardis. Uh, tiene dos, ¿verdad? Sería, exactly. sería Ar Ardis. Artes. 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 Okay, cool, excellent. You see? <laughs> Do not forget to interact with people. No solo nos vayamos how much is it. Si no es como, okay, no lo molesto al cliente o no lo molesto dándole más detalles. <laughs> y hoy no estoy presionado. Try to interact, you know, with your classmates as well. Algunos los vi bien callados. Come on, class. This is the time for That's you to expensive. practice. That's expensive. You say, yes, we can say Aleli that. me quiere vender un, un Xiaomi en 300 dólares. Nah, come on, Aleli, that's expensive. La docena, okay. No, nah, this one, right? Que solo uno y después me sacó un iPhone. Y An solo iPhone. la carcasa te estaba dando, Emerson. Not too hard. So let me check Eso the no tendencies. Nada, la... Teacher me vendió uh -huh. uno usado a mí. Yeah. But it was only ten dollars and fifty cents. You know, it was very cheap. And you were saying that's expensive. Come on, that was not expensive. That was very cheap. Here we go. Bien. Say here or present. Vamos a chequear the attendance list. Y si alguien escribió en el chat, por favor me avisan porque no he revisado el chat todavía. Aleli Concepción, please. Present teacher. Ana Gabriela. Ana Karina. Present. Ana Stephanie. Present. Andrea Isabel. Here. Excellent. Brian Edwin. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Eden. Present teacher. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Cristelia Rosalina. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena. Present teacher. Edgardo Antonio. Eduardo Elías. <clears throat> Edwin Ernesto. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present teacher. Emerson Alexander. Present. Esperanza Isabel. Fátima Esmeralda. Present <laughs> Fernando Arturo. Gabriela Lisset. Present teacher. Gladys Elizabeth. Teacher, ella, ella, ajá, dice que no le funciona el audio, pero que sí está presente. Ajá, eso iba a decir. Clay, Elisa y Justiana, algo así. Aquí está, sí, yes. tiene problemas en el audio. Glenda Abigail, thank you. Glenda. Present. Iris Elena. Mm, I guess she was here. Irma Raquel. I'm here. Isabel Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Yvonne. Present teacher. Jeremias Ezequiel. Present teacher. And Jessica Janet. Okay. Alguien que no haya mencionado o todos estamos presentes. Eh, yo tengo una pregunta, aparte de la lista. Ya. Yes. Con el paso que vamos, teacher, ya la otra semana terminamos el curso. 
No, esta para ustedes es la segunda semana. Nos faltan dos. Son cuatro. We have four weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank sí, you, que estaban pidiendo que para esta semana querían listo el 100% de la plataforma. No, sé no, si... no, no. Section number three. En midterm ah, exam. Uh -huh. Exactly. Ah, okay. No, don't you worry. No me asusten tampoco. We are still missing two weeks. Remember that each course, it covers four weeks. Four weeks of classes. Any other question? No más preguntas. No olviden repasar. Mañana vamos a iniciar con el mismo eh, ejercicio. Tratar de venderle algo a alguien. And then we are going to move on to a different topic. Okay, class. So it's time to stop the class here. And we are going to see each other tomorrow, okay? Aha, what are you planning, girls? Alelia and Isabel, what are you planning? There Ajá, we go. Ajá. Plan, eh? What are your plans? <laughs> <laughs> ah, But don't you worry. Nada, dicen las chicas. Don't you worry. Let's see you tomorrow, class. <laughs> Have a great night. See you. Ay, bye bye. Son terrible. Más que todo la ley. La ley es terrible. Ya no dijo nada, <laughs> Lili. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night to you. Good night. Bye bye. bye. Curioso es todo, dame que es. <risa> es que te conocemos, Aleli. Te conocemos. Bye bye, I see you. Bye bye, I see you. Good night, César.